Nu sitter vi här med Lars Kön. Det här är lanseringsevent för Nya Panamera och jag ska få åka med på ett snabbt varv här. Vi får se om jag överlever. Let's go, where are we? Perfekt. Uh, yeah, we're in uh, Seville, um, south of Spain. Um, the track is 3.6 kilometers. Um, completely new tarmac. Um, so re they just repaved the track. Um, suits the car pretty well, I would say. Not what we, what you would expect for like a presentation of such a big car, because it's a lot of like slow corners. But I think it really highlights the the new suspension um, and the traction we have in this car. And yeah, so I just I'll show you around. <laughs> that's cool. So is it is it positive that we have good weather? Yeah, I mean that's always positive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not only for our mood. <laughs> Do you know? I arrived 
one day. Okay, okay. So it's kind of new for you as yeah, well. Yeah, okay. I rocked up. I was like, oh, okay. That's okay. Cool. It's all right. <laughs> Do you learn tracks easily? Um, yeah. Yeah. Normally, yeah, this goes pretty quick. Um, I mean, that's but it's normal. Like the last, I would say five tenth to like seven tenth, is yeah. something you really have to work on. Yeah. But like first stuff is like it's going pretty quick. I would yeah. say within like ten to twenty laps, you should be somewhere ballpark. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah, you, normally you would need to go into details. Here, I mean, it's not relevant. So. Yeah, yeah. So what what do you think like makes the difference between the drivers? Is it can it be how quickly you memorize laps? It, it doesn't. Now I think this became le less of a thing because of simulators and stuff. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> because everybody obviously prepares with simulators because it's cheap and easy yeah. to do. Yeah. Um, and it saves track time because track time or like it's the most like expensive part of driving, especially in a race car. So you really want to be well prepared. Yeah. Um, so for example at Porsche also we do we sort out setup stuff already before we go to the track on the simulator to, yeah, to be ready. What do you think of uh, simulators? Uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's uh, me personally, I'm not a fan, yeah. um, but this is just something I grew up without yeah. um, and um, we just started. So when I was young, I really enjoyed being on the simulator, yeah. but as soon as I really started driving, I was like, yeah. Um, I live for the driving, not yeah. for the simulator. Yeah, sure. It's, but I see a lot of like young drivers, also in Porsche, who perform really well on the simulator. It's beneficial for the actual for the actual race, for the actual. Oh, driving. cool! Yeah. Um, Is it like everything from even reaction time and things like this? Yeah, and it, even racecraft yeah. they build because they you can never race that much in your real life than you can race in sure. the simulator. Yeah. So just training and just get used to it and. I think it's it's something. I mean, we do it like the older guys, but it's not that we're really keen on doing it. Okay. Um, where for the young guys, it's super normal. To, yeah, I to guess do it's so. like second nature almost. It's, it's so natural. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This was awesome. Yeah. Now we're getting into the pits. Yeah. That was a great experience. <laughs> Perfect. I've read about your laps, you know, so uh, it was fun to drive with you and uh, try pleasure. for real. Yeah. <laughs> Tack så mycket. Vi har kört med Lars Kön och det var extremt kul. Jag mår faktiskt inte så dåligt. Tack.